What's going on guys, Sir DaVinci here, back with another Surge video. This time we are going to be covering a couple of achievements, those being Tools of War and Suited and Booted, which are both achievements in the Good, the Bad, and the Augmented DLC. Um, I'm going to be covering how to get uh, each of the weapons and each of the gear sets in the DLC. So the first achievement I'm going to be covering is Tools of War, which is to collect all of the Frontier weapons in the DLC. Um, and there are five different weapons, each with three different variants. Uh, the first variant is basically just the standard version of each weapon, uh, which we have the Tomahawk, the Twin Blades, and the Infantry Rifle, um, the Rest in Pieces, and the Grim Ravager. Those are all five of the uh, standard versions of each weapon in the DLC. Uh, the second variant is the golden variant. There are uh, a golden variant for each of the weapons. We've got the golden marauder, the golden twin blades, the golden infantry rifle, uh, the golden war axe, and the rest in golden pieces. The third variant of each weapon is the boss variant. Now there are three different bosses, uh, each which have uh, different types of weapons. Uh, the first one is Totem Wolf. He uses the Tomahawk DX and the uh, Pattern 30XX Infantry Rifle. Uh, in order to get the weapons off of the, each boss, you have to chop off their right arm or whatever arm is carrying the weapon. Uh, for the Twin Blades, I don't think it matters which arm, but typically just go for the right arm. Target it throughout the entire fight, and hopefully at the end you'll cut it off and acquire the weapon. The next boss is La Muerte. He uses the Twin Blades and the Ravager. Uh, he used the Grim Ravager and the B-O-W-1-E Twin Blades Deluxe Edition. Uh, and then finally the third boss is Undertaker. He uses the Ravager as well and the Rest in Peace Special Edition. One thing to take into account is each time you go into the boss fight against a certain boss, it is not guaranteed which weapon or armor pieces he will be wearing. Um, Right now, I'm not going to cover the armor pieces. I will later in the video. But for the weapons, um, each time you fight Totem Wolf, he might have the War Axe. He might have the rifle. You never know. So for my suggestion if, if, is if you're farming both the armor sets and the weapon, just focus. Try to pay attention on what he's holding, what he's wearing. That way you can try to uh, prioritize whatever you need um, over. Because obviously each time it could be something different. Now, to acquire the standard versions of each weapon, basically, uh, when you go into an episode, uh, there are standard enemies throughout the levels, and just pay attention to what they're holding. They will hold the standard version of each weapon. Uh, it might depend on which episode you're playing in, so if you're playing in a Totem Wolf boss ending uh, episode, it, they might only run into uh, War Axes and the Rifles. Um, if you're doing a La Muerte one, you might only run into Ravagers and Twin Blades, and obviously for Undertaker you might run into Rest in Pieces and Ravagers. Now for the Golden Variants, uh, the only way to acquire them is as rewards. Uh, in order to get the Golden War Axe, um, you need to complete an episode with each one of these first row modifiers active. Once you have completed an episode with each one of them active, um, not at the same time, because you can't do more than one at the same time, then you will get the Golden War Axe as a reward. Um, for the Golden Rest in Pieces, uh, you have to complete an episode with each one of this third row modifiers active. Um, for the Golden Twin Blades, all you have to do is complete an episode with this just this one uh, modifier active, which is Arms Race. Um, for the... Where is it... Oh, I'm not looking at the rewards, I'm dumb. Uh, for the Golden Ravager, you have to complete the an episode with the Combo Maker modifier active, just that. And for the Golden Rifle, you need to complete an episode with Lactose Tolerant um, modifier active. So that's it for the Tools of War uh, achievement. So now we're going to be covering the gear sets or the armor pieces throughout the DLC. Alright, so now I'm going to be covering the suited and booted uh, achievement, which is to craft all Frontier gear sets. There are three different sets, each with two different variants, the standard and the boss version, totaling for six total gear sets. Alright, so the first set I'm going to be talking about is the Spirit Animal, which is going to come from the episodes involving the Totem Wolf boss at the end. Uh, this is the standard version of the gear that you're going to find on normal enemies throughout each episode. Um, and just be 
forewarned that not every enemy is going to be wearing a full set, nor are they going to be wearing necessarily these pieces. So just try and keep an eye on the pieces. This is what the set looks like. Uh, if you see them wearing any pieces like this, go ahead and chop it off. Uh, you only have to chop arms and legs once, body once, and head once, and then you have to craft two arms, two legs, a body, and a head in order to craft the entire gear set. Alright, the second set of gear I'm going to be talking about is the Angel of Death. Uh, this is the standard version of this set that you will get from any episode that has La Muerte as the boss at the end. Um, as before, uh, head, body, two legs, two arms. Alright, and the third set I'm going to be talking about here is the Stealthy Assassin set, which you can come across on normal enemies throughout episodes that have the Undertaker as the final boss. So now that we talked about the standard gear sets, we're going to talk about the boss versions of these gear sets. Um, each of them are basically identical except for color. Uh, for Totem Wolf, it's more of a darker colored steel with red eyes. Um, for La Muerte, it's more of a white set. And for Undertaker, it's black instead of brown and a red bandana instead of a green one. The reason why it's good to know what the difference is between the uh, boss version and the standard version is because um, the boss can still wear standard version gear. Um, if you go to an ep to make an episode anyway, the more uh, modifiers you have active and the harder modifiers you have active increases on the right. You can see frontier gear very high and version two gear high. So the version two gear is the um, boss version of the gear that you're going to see on the boss. You can only find it on the boss, uh, but like I said, it is not guaranteed. So the higher that is, you can get up to very high even. Um, if you have all four of the hardest ones, you can get up to very high, but obviously it's going to make it a lot harder to complete. Uh, high is good enough for me. I've typically run into most bosses have the uh, version 2 gear sets equipped. So just uh, these three, in my opinion, are pretty simple, um, especially on a lower episode. You don't really have to worry about time because the enemies are pretty easy to kill, which increases the amount of time you have. Um, picking up your health from collecting cheese, it's basically you, you almost never run out of health for the most part. Uh, you could run with leech if you want, um, but for me personally, I like lactose tolerant. Um, and then epicenters, it's not, it doesn't end up it's not that much of a threat and uh, honestly it doesn't do that much damage anyway uh, when you get hit by it and it can also hurt the uh, enemies throughout the level as well. So I personally have completed the gear sets for La Muerte and Totem Wolf. The only thing I need is the uh, chest piece and the legs for the Secret Assassin from Undertaker. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, some episodes until we get those. Alright, so what we still need is the torso and the legs. So I'm trying to first take a close look to make sure that he's actually wearing it. Right now he's wearing a normal helmet. I think it might be the normal chest piece, so I think I'm going to go for the legs on this one. Just in case. Alright, and let's see. Secret Assassin, that should be right. There we go. Secret Assassin legs done, just need the chest piece. Alright, the chest piece looks good. Let me target that. And there it is. So now all we have to do is go ahead and craft all of the gear set pieces. Uh, hopefully I have enough tech scrap, I'm really not sure if I do. Suited and booted.
Alright, so that is all three of the Boss gear sets. Um, honestly, I think all of them look great. Uh, my personal favorite is probably uh, the West Wolf one, although I really do like the Undertaker one as well, the Secret Assassin. Uh, one other thing I would like to point out is that once you complete a gear set, if you come to your rig um, and press, well, I don't know what button it is, or right, right trigger, R2, or whatever, uh, whatever you're playing on, uh, to change your jumpsuit appearance, um, each gear set unlocks a new jumpsuit. So this is for the La Muerte one, this is for Totem Wolf or West Wolf, and this is for the Undertaker's uh, Assassin set. So there you have it folks, hopefully this guide helped you guys out to get the uh, Tools of War and Suited and Booted uh, achievements. Um, if it did, like the video, comment down below if you'd like to see more, and subscribe for what will be more, I promise. And I will see you in the next one.